All right. Well, this is the fifth and last um, video that I'm I'm putting together for this forecast, and it covers the fifth spreadsheet that we have out here. This is the multi-year forecast. Um, I will start off by saying that this is fairly simplistic. The the for the model here assumes that whatever um, forecast scenarios we put out there, and in this case, just like it on the on uh, spreadsheet number four, we have maintain or improve. Um, if we if we look down here, this is the ratios that we are computing over time. You're going to see that they stay the same. So if you choose maintain as your scenario, then you get the same ratios, um, operating ratios, financing data, and so on for every year of the forecast. Right. So that's one thing to keep in mind as you're working through this. Um, if you have a very high growth rate, it may not be sustainable over that long of a period of time. Right, so um, the setup looks a lot like what we saw in the last spreadsheet, with one exception. It's right here. These are the inputs you see on the last spreadsheet. We just went to 2013. Now we're saying we're, we want to forecast out for five years. So we're, we're putting uh, columns out there for five years. Uh, based on that, again, if you go back to the last spreadsheet, we have one year of forecast. In this case, we have five years of forecast that are based on the numbers up here. And if you look up here, these each one of these cells just points back to the one before it, and so they're equal to the uh, cells chosen for 2013. What I want you to be able to do um, on this page is to calculate this section of it that, that calculates the additional funds needed before adjustment. Then it puts it through that adjustment factor to find out what the actual line of credit will be that will balance our balance sheet. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the information from our sheets, these two, this input sheet, um, and then our balance sheet and, and so on uh, for, for the projected years. To calculate these numbers, uh, the first one is the total assets, and that's the total asset for the forecasted year. So in this case, we want to put in equals, and then go right here for 2013. Go to the total assets of 22.2 billion dollars. The planned liability and equity. So these are all of the planned liability and equity accounts. This is going to include the accruals, the payables, the notes payable, the long-term debt. Um, on the equity side, it's going to include the common stock. Uh, any preferred stock if we had any, um, but not the retained earnings. Uh, we're going to actually take those retained earnings out next. So my planned liabilities and owner's equity are equal to the accounts payable plus the accruals, plus the notes payable, plus, I'm going to skip down, there's no, we don't include the line of credit yet. Plus the long-term bonds, plus the preferred stock plus the common stock. Again, I'm leaving out retained earnings. We're going to use last year's retained earnings. All right, I had a little brief interruption there. Someone at my door. Um, so I hope that doesn't mess you, didn't mess you up. Um, so now we, we've taken out all the planned liabilities and equity. We, we need to now put in the uh, previous year's retained earnings because these are going to be funds that um, are currently financing those those assets. So I'm going to go back up here to the previous year's retained earnings. And it's important that you have these as formulas in your spreadsheet because we're, we're going to drag these over and they need to be pointing towards the right cell. So don't type in the numbers. Type in the actual cell that you want to point to. So, so what's going on here? Let me explain. We've got our total assets that we need for the year to generate our sales that, that we'd like to have for the year. We're subtracting out the ways that we're paying for those assets. So these is we're going to subtract out liabilities and equity. We're going to subtract out previous uh, retained earnings, and then we're going to add in 
previous and, and regular dividends. And the reason why we're adding those back in is that's a use of cash. That's cash that's not going to be available to meet our, our um, asset needs. So I'm going to go up here um, to preferred dividends for 2013. I'm going to add the regular dividends of 57 million. And then finally, this last portion here is the, sorry, pop up there. Uh, this last portion is the additional income we're going to have in 2013 that we expect to be able to add to retained earnings. Um, so here I'm going to put in equals, go up here to 2013 EBIT minus the interest we expect to pay on the notes payable minus the interest we expect to pay on the bonds payable. Then I'm, I'm up here on the on the uh, formula bar and I'm going to put all these in parentheses. We're going to take out the taxes then. One minus the tax rate. Tax rate will scroll up. And I'm, I'm going to choose a tax rate right here. The reason being is that for every year then it's going to point at this uh, one of these cells here for that year. Uh, the nice thing about this model is if you want to you can use it and be a little more flexible flexible about it. You could actually go into these years and change things. So let's say in the year one you expect a 10% growth rate but then to fall off over the time you can manually change those in here to reflect a different growth rate. Sorry about that. Forgot a parentheses there at the end. All right. Yes. All right. So this is what your formula should look like. Um, we have the EBIT minus the interest on the notes payable minus the interest on the bonds, and this is the projected amount of interest we're going to have for the next for 2013 multiplied by one minus the tax rate. So that's supposed to be our net income for the year we subtract or we so we subtract that out because that's a source of funding for our um, for our assets for the year but then we're going to add back in or subtract out the preferred and regular common dividends because those are being taken away and we can't use those as the um, for for funding the next year's assets that we need so here I'm going to make that calculation And we get 109.3. And if you go back and look on the previous uh, spreadsheet, you're going to find for the maintain scenario that we get the same number. Okay, that we have additional funds needed of 109.3 to begin with, and then we adjust it based on uh, those financing feedbacks that we talked about before. So in this case, our F is equal to 0.5. And notice where I'm I'm pulling this up on again. It's right here in these input section for the entire. Um, for the entire forecast multiplied by oops, multiplied by the rate of debt for the line of credit so that's 11.5 percent multiplied by 1 minus the tax rate the tax rate right there at 40 percent then multiplied by the previous year's um, line of credit and for that we're going to scroll down a little bit and select 2012's line of credit amount, which is zero. Once I have that, I've got the first column filled in there. 
going to highlight this and you can see here where it does make that adjustment for the letter of credit and excuse me the line of credit and the interest on that I'm going to pull that over all the way and your spreadsheet should look like this that for each of the years we see an increasing need for additional funds needed that's not a good sign for the company um, hopefully you know in their projections they would find a way to balance that out uh, to turn it around because what they're doing is just continually adding debt and as we see here they're adding a lot of debt over that five-year period so uh, the next thing I want to do here is, is show you what it will look like if they ch change their scenario so I'm going to go to data what if analysis scenario manager and choose improve instead and click show and we see a very different outcome in that case um, at the, for the first year, they have a special dividend of $90.2 million. Um, and then in the, in, in the remaining years, we do see them using a, a line of credit. However, not to the extreme that they were uh, in the previous um, scenario. Down below, there's a lot of instructions here, generally um, explaining what you're doing up here and what you're doing up here. Uh, finally, we look down here, uh, the summary of the forecasted key results for the improved scenario. And again, the way you would get this is to actually calculate the results for 2012. Okay. And just pull them over. You can see where they're pointing to. They're pointing to these um, forecasted financial statements. We calculated these all before um, on spreadsheet number two, so I'm, I don't want to go through all of that again, but as you can see as we move over, we just see the same um, formulas in each cell. It just moved one over um, across that forecast. Again, if I change scenario to maintain okay. so it says key results for the improved scenario but actually if we hit maintain it'll change uh, if we choose maintain it'll choo change all these over to the maintain ratio uh, scenario the statement of cash flows is the same idea again we calculated these for 2012 um, again on, on page uh, two um, we did that so you can see all the calculations and then these for the forecast year well for the actual year we point them to these financial statements with the forecast attached to them and then we just pull them over to make all the calculations for the forecasted year and that it should about do it um, after you watch these videos if you have any questions please let me know I tried to fill in some of the blanks that aren't in your book um, working through some of the uh, the calculations without being too monotonous but if if there's something you'd like me to go over just write it down um, I'll have the spreadsheets available during class time and and certainly you can ask me to, to go over uh, calculations or if you have a question about how to do something I'm happy to help there um, I will have your assignment ready for you on class in class on Friday, and um, good luck with that.